honestly, it, I think the last two year graduation. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. I'm just, I'm talking, just talking to She's down and out. I just wanted to see if our guest speaker Stephanie's on. I'm here. Okay, okay perfect. Sorry, my mom really apologized. She's just like, she's like sick and cannot be like on the camera right now, but it's like recording and she just wanted to know Stephanie's going to like continue and lead the, the talk and she just apologizes again, but she wanted to let me let you know. Okay, perfect. Ready to get started then? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Well, we hope Jennifer feels better soon. All right, you guys. Well, I am super excited to be here. My name is Stephanie Venz, if you don't know me. And I have actually been building my Mary Kay business now for 10 years. I'll just tell you a little bit about myself. But when I first started Mary Kay, I was 22 years old in grad school working another job. So I kind of just started on this side to make a little bit of extra money who started just to make a little bit extra money. Right now, now we're here all these years later. And, um, I absolutely love this. Um, uh, my team is incredible. I just, I feel so blessed. I lead the most amazing ladies as I know you guys do too as well. But, um, we have earned five pink Cadillacs, um, over the last 10 years, um, getting ready to pick up the 2024 pink Cadillac. Um, my team has had the honor of doing a million dollars in sales. And so we are a million dollar unit 
And I am just so sold out on this Mary Kay dream, this Mary Kay opportunity. And I am so thankful for this lady right here for creating our company 60 years ago. Who else is just like so thankful for this opportunity? It really is just the best opportunity in the whole entire world. And our one job, as Mary Kay Ash would always say, is to pass it on, to share it. And um, I am going to be talking to you guys about that today. And I'm going to be talking you, to you about you. Um, sharing the, the Mary Kay opportunity and everything. And if you guys can mute, I know I don't have, I'm not a co-host, I don't think. So I don't have access to like mute anybody or anything. So, um, but that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. Because I asked Jennifer, I was like, all right, so what do you feel like everybody kind of needs right now? And she was like, I feel like people are coming home from seminar. You know, we have the inspiration, we have the motivation, we are ready, ready to go. You have tons of sales ideas, right? With the new fall product coming that just launched, which is exciting. The new miracle set that is um, coming out. So I don't really necessarily want to talk about um, the, the product part today, but, but I love the products. I'm sold out on the products. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I am going to talk about, um, the opportunity today. And so I just want to let you guys know, the first thing is that, um, God's alignment is so powerful and so amazing when you keep showing up and you keep doing the work, you keep doing the faces. And so I want to start off with a little story, um, from yesterday that just happened. And my first question for you is, are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready for more? All right. Are you ready? Are you prepared? You know, are you, um, do you have everything that you kind of need to be prepared? And then are you looking for the opportunities? Okay. And there's a difference between being prepared and being a perfectionist. Okay. Y'all on here, some people are perfectionists and have to have everything in line, right? Um, before you get started, you don't, okay. You just got to get started, but I do feel like you need to be a little bit prepared. Okay. So yesterday, um, I was actually driving to meet one of my uh, team members for coffee and I left, um, our house and pulling out of the driveway and, um, my car light came on for my back right tire. And it was like, PSI is 18. I'm like, Oh, great. Well, um, so I call my husband and I'm like, I'm supposed to meet this consultant for coffee. What do you think I should do? He was like, we'll just pull into, um, big O tires and, um, you know, they can, they can check it out for you. So I called my consultant and, um, I was like, Hey, Sierra, would you be willing to meet me at big O tires instead, instead of, um, the coffee shop? And she's like, sure, I can, I can totally, um, meet you there. And here's like the first opportunity you guys, because, um, big O tires is new ish to our town. And my husband owns a high end, uh, videography and, uh, photography company here at the Lake of the Ozarks. We do live at the Lake, of the Ozarks. And so, um, we normally go to this other place. It's called tire Plaza and they're really great. They're locally owned, but this big O, um, just opened up and, um, they hired my husband for a video project. So I was like, well, I'm going to support them because they're also, an, an, he's also another small business owner. I'm going to support him too, just because he supported, you know, he supported my husband. And so that's one reason why I, I went to big O. So I had a few different options, um, a few different options there, but I walk into the store and, um, what, one of the guys that was there, he was like, oh my gosh, is that your pink caddy? And I was like, yes, that's my, uh, pink Cadillac. He was like, I see it all over town. My wife loves your car. And I'm like, well, oh my gosh, your wife <laughs> needs to join us. She needs to do what we do. If she loves, you know, she loves my car. Right. And this was such a God thing, you guys. Well, they got me checked in and his wife, I don't know what she was doing. Her name's Gabby, but she literally showed up at big O tires. Okay. And they were giving each other, um, like he walked outside and was talking to her and he like gave her a hug and a kiss. And I was like, is this your wife? And he, and she was like, yes. And then I was like, I heard you love my car. I have a goodie bag for you. And she was like, you have a goodie bag for me. And so 
I, you know, grab grabs the samples out of my purse and I gave her her goodie bag and I was like, yes. Okay. So Gabby, um, you know, what's your number. And so we exchanged numbers and I was like, tell me a little bit about yourself. And she was like, well, we're expecting our first baby. And I was like, oh my gosh, we're expecting our first baby. And so we kind of like bonded over that just a little bit. And then, um, and then fast forward, I also added her on Facebook and I was like, Hey, can I also add you on Facebook really fast? So that way, um, I can add you to my VIP, um, customer group page. And she was like, Oh my gosh, this is such great timing. I need new skincare. As, as I just said, she's pregnant. She was like, I'm hormonal, you know, breaking out all the things. And so, um, so anyway, I invited, uh, Gabby to, you know, I got her phone number. So I did both got her phone number and I added her on Facebook and added her to my VIP customer group page. And then I told Gabby, I was like, Hey girl, um, I do have my unit meeting tonight, but I'm going to go live later tonight on my customer group page. And I have been meaning to make a video anyway, about, um, just like our skincare process, you know, um, just like our regular pampering session party. And I've been meaning to do that on my actual, um, group page, do an updated one. And I'll go live tonight at nine after we get done in everything with my unit meeting and walk you through the samples. Okay. You guys. So, you know, went on, um, did my facial, did my makeover or didn't do my makeover, did my, did my, did my face. And then, um, you know, share the Mary Kay opportunity on the Facebook live, which I'm going to talk about that here in just a second. And y'all now she's joining my team. Okay. So within 24 hours, cause I, this was yesterday at four, I was ready. I was ready for more. Right. So that was my first question that I asked you, are you ready for more? Are you prepared? If I didn't have a goodie bag in my, in my purse, then I would have been like, Hey girl, you know, I have to, you know, I would love to give you a goodie bag. Can I have your address? Can I ship it to you? You know, could we meet up? Blah, blah, blah. But I had the goodie bag. I was prepared, gave it to her. And then I was also prepared with double contact, not just one contact with one way to get a hold of her through texting, but then also through Facebook as well. Cause I don't know if this has happened to anybody where like you've added them on Facebook and maybe they haven't added you back and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, it's just like, I, I wanted to make sure I had both contacts for her. And then, um, I was, I was looking for an opportunity. I was looking for an opportunity to, um, meet someone to be a blessing. Right. Um, it wasn't about me. It was about her. It was about, um, sharing, you know, the products with her. Cause it all starts. Mary Kay Ash always said it doesn't start until someone sells something. So it started with the products. I didn't go straight into sharing the opportunity with her. Um, but she had the full circle process. And y'all, is it going to work perfectly like that every single time? No, probably not. But y'all when like nothing is a surprise to God, right? He already has it all perfectly lined out and nothing is a surprise to him. I was supposed to go to big O tires yesterday. I was supposed to meet Gabby. Um, and like the craziest thing about it all, um, I guess I ran over like a dead carcass somewhere in the road. And so I had like, like broken carcass bones in my tires. How weird, how weird is that? And so I didn't even have a flat tire. Big O tires didn't even end up charging me. Like they were like, oh, you don't owe us anything. We took care of it for you. I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. So like God's blessing all over, but we have to be obedient. We have to be obedient to, I know, right? Oh my gosh, this is my life. But we have to be obedient to the calling that God has has put on our life. It would have been so easy to walk past Gabby. It would have been so easy just to say, you know, hey girl, nice to meet you or whatever. But I was looking, I was ready. I was prepared and I was looking for an opportunity. Okay. So um, how do I share the Mary Kay opportunity? So y'all, I've done it so many different ways. We guys put in the chat how long you guys have been in Mary Kay, because I'm sure if you have been in Mary Kay for more than a couple years, you have probably done Mrs. Cab. <laughs> you have probably done, um, you know, fast fun facts about Mary Kay as a business opportunity. You have probably done the, the marketing bag. You have probably done so, so many ways. Yes. Okay. Okay. 30 years. Amazing. 20 years, 30 years, 14 years, six years. Oh my gosh. 40 years. So incredible y'all. So first off, I just want to say thank you to the pioneers in our company. Y'all, every time that you see a pioneer in our company, like we need to thank them because Leave it alone. 
um, people like Marsha, people like <laughs> Rebecca. Oh, if you can mute, sorry, you guys, I don't have access to do that. I don't think I'm a co-host, so I can't mute anybody. Thank you. Um, Nan um, Nanette, is that how you say your name? I mean, Deborah, oh my gosh, like, thank you for being a pioneer in our company because they held parties 30 years ago, you guys, we have the opportunity that we do today. So we need to thank the legacy leaders. We need to thank the pioneers in our company because they did parties. We still have a Mary Kay today. But then also too, it's our job now as the next generation to party and pass it on. So we also have to party and pass it on as well. Um, but I went back and forth, y'all. Okay, so I was recruited from um, the marketing bag. So I'm gonna show you um, my marketing, my old school marketing bag. I was recruited from a marketing bag, went in for a Mary Kay facial makeover, um, fell in love with the product she shared from her marketing bag. And that is how um, I, I was recruited into Mary Kay. So I did that, earned my first car, sharing the opportunity that way. Um, you know, debuted as a sales director. And I did that for several years. And then I kind of went back, like went to like three fast fun facts about Mary Kay as a business opportunity during like my parties and facials, which the three fast fun facts I would do, you know, the flexibility, the 50% profit and how we get started. And then, um, I, I, I we added a ton of new team members, um, in COVID. And then last year, I don't know. I don't know if it was because of my intention, but I just felt like my numbers weren't as high for recruiting. And now looking back, I probably can say I wasn't really intentionally sharing the opportunity with passion. Y'all, sometimes we get in a checkbox mentality. Anybody else like I'm supposed to do 30 phases a month, check, check in the box. I'm supposed to add team members to my team, check in the, and, and like we can we have to be so self-conscious of that because if we just get in a checkbox mentality, then we're really not doing what Mary Kay Ash asked us to do. Like, oh, she said, pass it on, right? Okay, I, I share the opportunity at my appointment. But there is a difference between like sharing the opportunity and sharing the opportunity, right? And so um, this is how I do marketing. And so at the beginning part of the seminar year, I um, was like, okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to do anything that worked previously. All right. That was kind of like my mindset. I was like, if it worked before, it can work again. And I needed to be disciplined with my marketing bag. There was also, I'm going to blank on the director's name. I know that I know that she trained on um, one of these Zooms not too long ago about her marketing bag as well. And it just reminded me, you guys, that um, it doesn't really matter how we share but we have to have the, the passion to share. So this literally sits on my desk. So I would recommend you having a marketing bag for your desk if you work virtually and a marketing bag for your, um, for your starter kit, for your car, for if you work in person. So you, you definitely need both. Um, sales directors, this is something that you can easily, your, your people can easily duplicate as well. Um, but when they have their charcoal mask on, um, in person or virtually this works. I, I, I just tell them, I say, I'm going to share with you a little bit about Mary Kay, kind of what we do and how we make our Mary Kay money. Um, Mary Kay Ash was a real person. And I pull out the book, Mary Kay Ash was a real person. And, um, the one thing that she asked us to do is to share the opportunity and to pass it on. And I just love her story so much. I'm like, I don't know if, if you've heard her story yet, but she actually started our company as a retired grandma. And um, it's been around now more than 60 years. She started it for women. So she was a woman um, that started our company for women. And you guys, if you don't know what to say, I was actually on the, the team building flyer. Mary Kay, I teamed up with Mary Kay. They asked me to be a part of it. I was on this, it just fits team building flyer. Okay. So if you don't really know what to say, go to this flyer. Cause this is basically the points that I hit on. Okay. Um, so that was a huge honor from Mary Kay to, to be a part of that. Um, but I do share about the company I share about, and I don't really uh, personally, Mary Kay might tell you guys differently, but I don't think it really matters what order you share in. 
from this flyer as long as you hit on everything. Um, but that's the heart of Mary Kay that it, she started this business as a woman for women, right? Okay, so um, I, I share a little bit about the company because even if they decide not to join Mary Kay, I always say there's three ways that you can support me. You can support me by being a customer. I always need customers. Customers keep us in business. Customers keep us going, right? I love my customers. I will totally spoil you. Um, you can also, um, number two, you can be a hostess. And, um, so I will also be telling them about like my hostess programs during the parties and things like that as well. And then number three is you um, can join my Mary Kay team. And so I do say that at the beginning of my parties, because I want them to know, like, there is multiple ways that you can support me. You can, um, um, you can be a great customer. I always am looking for great customers and I'll take great care of you. Um, you can be a hostess or you can join my Mary Kay team. And so the first thing I do is I, I talk about Mary Kay Ash because that kind of also takes the pressure off of me. If we do have any newer consultants on here or people that maybe it's been a hot second since you've been like really passionate about sharing the Mary Kay opportunity, it does take the pressure off for me, even as a top sales director, because it's the one thing that she asked to do is to pass it on. And I'm, I'm so passionate about that. Okay. So then the next thing that I do, and I just kind of beat bop back and forth between my bag, um, just depending on um, kind of like the crowd and everything, like maybe I don't hit on everything in my bag, but the next one that um, I do is I actually show them my um, diamond ring that I've earned from Mary Kay. And if you don't have a diamond ring, or if you're duplicating this to your, um, to your consultants, you know, they might not have a diamond diamond ring yet directors. And so they can just go to the dollar store. Um, they could get like one of those fake diamond rings, or they can pick it, pick another piece of jewelry that they've earned from Mary Kay. Okay. Like we've all earned jewelry from Mary Kay. Right. Um, so they could pick another piece of jewelry as well, but I talk about the prizes and the recognition and that Mary Kay wanted every single woman to be celebrated. And, you know, I'm, I'm talking about seminar right now that we just got back from seminar and <laughs> We got to wear big, fancy, you know, dresses and sashes. And I know, and I always say, I know that sounds so over top to other people outside the Mary Kay world, but I share that because when's the last time that someone said, I'm proud of you. When's the last time that someone said, congratulations. When's the last time that your, your job gave you a diamond ring. Right. Um, so I talk about the diamonds, the trips, um, you pick whatever you're passionate about, but that's what I'm passionate about. Okay. All right. So then the next one that I might talk about is a rubber band. And I have this big old rubber band. And if I'm in person, then I would be like, hey, you guys, do you know what the rubber band represents? And, um, you know, if I'm on Facebook Live or Zoom, I might just go ahead and just like tell them what it represents. But I say that the rubber band represents flexibility. Um, and I talk about how we don't have any sales quotas. Um, there's not that quota that you have to meet, you know, that, that added pressure to sell, um, that we don't have any territories that you can sell to all of your friends and family all over. So I do talk about the flexibility you can talk about how it really does fit your life um, from the team building flyer as well. Okay. And then the next one I do is the um, keychain. And again, you know, if you, if you have a Mary Kay car, you can use your keychain. If you don't have a Mary Kay car, you can, you know, get a little toy car. You could print off a pink Cadillac. You could, you know, do whatever. So you could totally get creative with this for sure. Um, but then I do talk about the car program, how they do pay for 85% of your car insurance, your taxes, your licensing, and um, just share a little bit about the cars as well. Okay. So at this point in time, you guys, depending on how long I've kind of been talking, because I feel like my marketing really needs to be about three or four minutes. I don't want to spend 10 minutes doing marketing because we're going to lose them, right? We're going to lose them. And so at this point in time, I might, you know, talk about a couple of other things. Um, but I just really wanted to hit on the big ones um, today. But I definitely do talk about the money that we can make. So we do make half or 50% off everything that we sell. And I will give an example. So for example, these hydrogel eye patches, your friends, family, customers, whoever, they're going to pay you $40 um, for these eye patches. You're going to keep 20 and you're going to order it through Mary Kay for 20. So we do make half or 50% off everything that we sell. We're one of the highest direct selling companies making the 50% profit. And so, um, 
I do talk about um, the money. And then in there too, um, I have a picture of the starter kit flyer. Okay. And I'm like, I know you can't really see this on Facebook live or on zoom, but I'm going to send this to you afterwards as well. Okay. Um, but I do want to talk to you about how we get started with our business. So we have two different starter kit options. So we have the $30 starter kit, which comes with your website. And then also pro pay pro pay is how people check out on your website using your credit card or debit card. Or we have the $130 starter kit option, which comes with your website pro pay and over $400 of retail size products. And so I'll explain both of the starter kits um, very, um, very briefly. And I have some other things in my marketing bag, like a sales receipt for taxes. Um, I also have, have this light um, because... It's really important to pass on our vision. And Holly Lowe gave this to me um, uh, the previous seminar year, our first seminar uh, back. And this represents um, becoming becoming a national. And I do talk to them about how, um, you know, we are the light of our company and that the the thing that of building a national area, and I, I, I talked to them about um, our vision and how I'm looking for leaders and I'm looking for leaders to rise up in it. And if that's them, if they're wanting more out of their life, um, maybe they're looking for a career change or, or a life change or positivity or the girlfriend times, right? Um, I will just say that it's, it's our job to shine our light. And so many women these last several years have been putting their light away. Right. And so this is our, our, our time to um, share our light. So, and then I always really do thank them for, um, I always thank them for, for listening. Um, I'm, I'm just like, obviously you can tell I'm super passionate about it and I love it so much. Um, I really do appreciate you and thank you for listening. And like I said, there's definitely multiple ways that you can support me. You can, um, you can be a great customer. You can um, be an awesome hostess, which I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about that here in just a second. And then, or you can um, join my Mary Kay team. So I am looking to team up with women. So, okay. Any questions about that? You can put that in the chat. I hope that was helpful. You guys, um, if you have any, any questions about sharing the opportunity, I know I have about five, um, about five ish minutes left, but I feel like the thing about sharing the opportunity to you guys is being bold, being bold. And think about it like this. Think about if Mary Kay Ash was at your skincare class party, wouldn't you level up? <laughs> wouldn't you like go all out and share the opportunity, right? Or think about, I don't know what seminar you guys are in, but I have so much respect for, you know, Pam Shaw and the Kristen Sharps. Like if they were watching your skincare class party, would they be like, you did an incredible job of sharing it and of passing it on? Or would they be like, ah. and so I practiced you guys. I literally, you can hop on zoom, right? Cause you can see yourself in zoom. You can do this in your bathroom mirror, wherever. Um, but practice, practice and tell your consultants to practice as well. Practice on when to smile, practice on when to breathe, practice on, you know, if, if it's going a little too long, like I said, about three to four minutes, like that's the most time that you probably want to spend on marketing. Cause 10 minutes you're losing people. And so, um, my husband is in, um, like I said, videography, and he says that the average attention span on a video is a minute and 18 seconds. Mm -hmm. And that was a couple of years ago. So it's probably even gotten worse. Let's be for real. <laughs> and so we have got to keep it quick and fun and upbeat. And so I, I hope that, um, blesses you guys and, um, um, helps you. Yes. So Vicki, I kind of went over some of the things in the marketing bag. So I ho hope that helps. Um, what do you put in your swag bag? And, um, so my swag bags are the, um, miracle set and then the microderm abrasion and then the charcoal mask. So I do, I do send, um, that, and then, um, do I share a recruiting video during the Zoom? So I I personally share the opportunity on on my Zoom. So that was that was something that I would I would do um, 
for like my Facebook lives and Zoom parties. Yes. Um, I do have um, like a five minute video that my consultants can can post that's of me. Um, but there's some really great ones out there from Mary Kay as well. The It Just Fits videos, so you could post those as well. So you do the marketing bag and in-person parties, right? In-person and virtual. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Any other questions? I know we're almost at our 30, 30 minutes. Um, the last thing that I just want to share is I do have an acronym for um, REDS. And I know that if you're watching, you're probably moving on up to RED or DIQ, um, you know, working on becoming a sales director. I know directors, you're probably working on painting your sea of REDS. And so um, what I am looking for out of women to join my Mary Kay team, and this is the, the REDS um, acronym of I'm looking, the R stands for ready for more women. I am looking for women who want more that are hungry for more. So ready for more women. Um, the E stands for excuse free women, excuse free women. The D stands for determined women. I'm looking for women that have determination. And then I am looking for spirit filled women, women who um, know God or want to know God. I'm looking for women that are spirit-filled women. So the R stands for ready for more. The E stands for excuse-free women. The D stands for determined women. And the S stands for um, spirit-filled women. Um, yeah, so Carla, my three fast fun facts um, is... Uh, Number one, the flexibility. So I talk about um, that it just fits their life. It, it kind of bases off of the team building flyer. Um, number two is how we make our Mary Kay money. So we make 50% profit. We make half or 50% off everything that we sell. <laughs> and then number three is how we get started with our business. That it's just 30 bucks to get started. You're welcome. Yay. Marie, we are cheering you on girl to earn your red jacket. So exciting. So just remember to chase after those qualities every single day, asking yourself, are you ready for more? Are you making excuses? No, you're not making excuses, right? You are determined and you are looking for the opportunities that God has for you in life. So, all right, you guys will have a super, super blessed day. You guys are amazing. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. 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 Wow. Thank you. You too. Hmm.